Ah, so I'm just doing a little quick little video here tonight because of uh, today's been like, well, the past few days have been one of those like, don't know what's going to happen next days. And today is actually Saturday. And I have got, I got a package today in the mail. So that's going to be an upcoming video on what that's going to be. So, just want to do a quick little video here tonight. I'm kind of, I'm cooking supper. I'm making pork chops. I got these at the store earlier, down at Food Line. So I thought, well, do pork chops. I got a big pack of pork chops. Like, I got, how many pork chops was in that pack? They was two, four, eight pork chops. I don't know how much they was, but I forgot. So that's what I'm cooking up tonight for supper is pork chops. Then I got biscuits in the oven. Y'all see my biscuits. And tomorrow night, I may do a video on this tomorrow night too. But we're going to, I know my refrigerator is pitiful. <laughs> I got some beef stew meat here. So tomorrow night, I may, well tomorrow I may do a video on that. And then I'm going to try to get some videos posted at least by Monday. Monday or Tuesday. So I've got a, some stuff I've got trying to, trying to plan and trying to work on it at the same time. So, I'm thinking about building a chicken chicken coop and run for some chickens. Of course, I've let it, it's dark, so y'all probably cannot see if I try to show you. Let's see here. Nope, too dark. Ah, well. That's all right. I got to clear some brush out. There's Mr. There's what, that's what the video is going to be on tomorrow. That I'm going to film tomorrow. It'll be Monday or Tuesday if I get it posted. It's it, it's going to be a good video, I can tell you. Really good video. So, but, I'm trying to do, um, I want to build a chicken coop. I ain't going to be very big or nothing. Just to hold a few, you know, hold some chickens. And, um. I'm going to try to get chickens this summer. I can get baby chicks at Royal King. And hopefully we can have some eggs. I, I don't know yet if I'm going to... I want to get at least 10, lay, 10 hens to the, for, the, for laying eggs, you know. And then that's just for laying, for, lay, for the egg laying. And I don't know yet if I'm going to get 10 more chickens... For meat chickens. I was trying to talk to my mom a while ago and tell her about raising chickens to eat and uh, I don't think she was too enthused with that <laughs> to tell y'all the truth. So but yeah that's, then I'm gonna try to do some raised beds for a garden this year. I'm going to check my oven. Now. How brown are they in the back? I can't see. We don't have an oven light. But, yeah, I'm thinking about doing chickens this summer. That kind of give me something to keep me busy this summer with raising chickens and tending a garden. And all that good stuff. Um, oh yeah, I was going to tell you guys, when I was at the food line, I found this uh, fried rice seasoning mix. I'm going to try that. I tried the other brand. This is Sunbird. It was 99 cent. The other, do I have another one? Yeah, I do. This one here, I paid like $1.29 for that. So we'll, we'll see how good this is. And I did buy some soy sauce this time. I didn't have none last time. I bought low sodium because every time I go to the doctor, I hear about my damn high blood pressure. So 
will satisfy the doctor and use some low sodium things so but you know oh come on this must be a non-stick pan get off there actually that pan will clean up pretty good believe it or not if I lay the pan in the sink Go ahead and get some water on it. It'll it'll clean off. See, it'll clean. You gotta. Use, <laughs> that looks gross, don't it? Anywho, it'll clean up. Just a little bit of elbow grease. I kind of like this pan. I gotta let that soak. That looks nasty now. That's nasty. Put a little bit of dish soap in there. I want to try. This is always been. I've been using Dawn dish soap for a good while. And that's always been like my preference in dish soap is Dawn. But I seen this at the Dollar General. And we ain't going to talk about me spending $45 in the Dollar General. But I found this and it's supposed to be just like Dawn. So let's see if it even smells like the Dawn that I... Yeah, it does. It kind of smells like Dawn. But I'm going to try that. This is $3 a bottle. And I think I paid three something for this one. And of course, there ain't a price sticker on it. But I think I paid like three something for this one at Rose's. And usually Rose's is where I go and buy my dish soap. But I didn't get to Rose's because they were slam packed full the other day. So I said, well, we'll just go somewhere else. Uh, I'm going to tell you, I was at the dollar store. And I got distracted in the Dollar General. I'm going to show y'all what distracted me. The buy one, get one 50% off scented candles. They distracted me. They always do. They put them on sale when I have money. I bought two. I bought the Bombay Sky and the Coconut Palm. They both smell really good. And I, I just like scented candles, if y'all didn't know. And I got one burning right here as well. And then, I, they got their spring stuff out. So I go down the spring aisle, and what do I find? A citronella candle. Now, you burn these outside. You don't burn them in the house. I love a citronella candle. But that one don't smell right. We'll, we'll have to talk about citronella candles in another video. but So... Check my biscuits, make sure I don't burn the daggum things. They're looking pretty good. They need to be a little bit more brown. So, kind of been an interesting week. Well, it's Saturday, but all last week was, was a bit interesting. Uh, my mother fell. Uh, she fell on the porch. Shut up, cat. So I went up there and I had to take my I took my computer up there to do some stuff and didn't get to do it. So uh you've ever wondered why my cat's name is Mumbles? This is the reason. What? Really? She mumbles when she's in heat. So that's why her name is Mumbles. But have you ever heard me call her Mr. Mumbles? That's because I thought she was a boy when she was little. Uh, we don't get into that story though. <laughs> but anyway. Anyway. Oh, the, the only kind of mayonnaise you're supposed to buy when you're at the supermarket is Duke's mayonnaise, by the way. I, I don't care what anybody says. I only buy Duke's. I think we can change this calendar. I think. 
Well, now look at this. February. February. February again. And we have three months of February. March. It's finally going over to March. Yep. First day of March. Wow. Getting springtime. Getting close to springtime anyway. Oh, I think we fall. We set the clocks back. No, we spring forward next Saturday on the 8th. I think. Yeah. We do. Alright. So, this is kind of my Evening vlog, I guess you'd call it. Cooking supper vlog. My biscuits are still not done. Oh, I didn't tell you guys how I cooked my pork chops, but I done them in flour. Usually I do them in uh, cornmeal mix. Jiffy cornmeal. But tonight I just done them in flour. And I used my Kansas City seasoning here. Come on and focus. I hate that when it does that crap. This is... Is it going to focus? No. Anyway, it's Kansas City Steak and Chop Seasoning. Natural Supreme is the brand there. Uh, Y'all can't see because it it's going to be a, a butthole. But anyway. That is some good stuff. I like that. I got bought that at the, at the little small... Family owned grocery store I like to shop at. I've not been up there in a while. I need to go back. So, uh, you know, I don't know how it goes. So, but anyway, uh, yeah, I got some videos planned. I hope my battery to my camera is still charged and uh, all that good stuff. So, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna hop off here and finish up waiting on my biscuits to cook and. Enjoy some supper. I gotta push this door in. I can't stand it. I cannot stand when you're in the kitchen and then there's a drawer or a door open. Because my grandma's bad. Side. She'll get a pot out and she'll leave the door open like that. And I can't stand that because if I was through it, I'd trip over that damn door and break it clean off the hinge. That'd be me. You know. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I know I gotta wash my dishes. Thank you guys for reminding me of that. And, um, yeah, all right, later.